On October 17, 2024, InfoDefensa reported that the Uruguayan government has granted official approval for the bank guarantees submitted by the Galician shipyard Cardama. This critical step paves the way for the construction of two offshore patrol vessels, OPVs, for the Uruguayan Navy, marking a significant advancement in the country's maritime capabilities. With the approval now in place, construction at Cardama is expected to commence shortly. The first OPV is projected to be delivered to Uruguay within 18 months of the construction start date. Each vessel will feature a displacement of 1,700 tons, measuring 86.75 meters in length, 12.20 meters in beam, and a draft of 3.60 meters. They will be powered by robust Caterpillar engines, equipped with controllable pitch propellers and a dynamic stabilization system to facilitate helicopter operations. Designed for versatility, the OPVs will include two rapid intervention boats that can be launched via stern ramps, alongside an auxiliary and rescue craft that adheres to SALAS safety protocols. Beneath the flight deck, a multifunctional container system will be incorporated, providing essential space for specialized equipment and missions, including pollution control. The OPVs will also have the capability to host Augusta Bell 412 helicopters, as specified by the Uruguayan Navy. They will be fitted for underway replenishment, significantly enhancing their operational endurance and effectiveness on extended missions. Central to the vessel's operations will be the Advanced Combat Management Systems, CMS, that include the Terma C-Flex suite, complemented by the Scanter 6002 surveillance radar, already trusted by leading naval forces. This sophisticated system will work in conjunction with electro-optical weapon stations equipped with Escribano Sentinel-30 and 2.0 systems, as well as the Odeo's N observation system. Control of these technologies will be managed from the ship's Combat Information Center, CIC, with additional operational displays located on the bridge. Each stabilized Sentinel weapon station will feature its own electro-optical targeting system, enhancing the vessel's detection, tracking, and combat capabilities. The OPVs will be armed with a 30mm main gun mounted on the Sentinel-30 system and two 12.7mm machine guns, one on each side of the ship, in 2.0 mounts. The introduction of these OPVs aligns with the Uruguayan Navy's ongoing modernization efforts aimed at revitalizing its aging fleet. The Navy is focusing on maintaining a smaller yet more efficient force, specifically tailored to address non-traditional threats, including illegal, unreported, and unregulated IUU fishing, drug trafficking, and other maritime crimes. Given Uruguay's extensive exclusive economic zone EZ, the operational demands on the Navy are significant. The new patrol vessels will play a crucial role in enhancing maritime surveillance and ensuring the protection of Uruguay's maritime resources.